Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate 3D models with app, well, ease really, absolute ease. Okay, um, first of all we'll go to a website called Spriter's Resource. Uh, what this site is about, uh, you can google it quite easily, what this site is about is that it offers uh, 2D sprites, but not only 2D sprites, it's offering re 3D sprites recently. Um, what this site is, is it's a uh, it's a fan made site and they're collecting all sprites for all games um, but there's also a new section which you can now get models for games, 3D models So, and we can animate 3D models with ease um, um, to make games, animations, whatever you really whatever you can dream of okay so once we're in the models resource uh, section of sprite as resource we will scroll down, we'll look for a character. There's, these are Final Fantasy VIII characters for Final Fantasy VIII fans. They will recognize them straight away. It's Irving, uh, Laguna, and Squall. Everyone's favorite. Wazel, I like his moves. Anywho, so there's Tornado, Sonic, everyone knows Sonic. Everyone knows Majora's Mask. Um, okay. Let's call on Mewtwo. But yeah, we'll select a model anyway. Um, and I pick. Link, yeah, we'll do Link. Okay, uh, Skyloft Link. So we'll just right click that, uh, open a new window, uh, and then there'll be a, a zip or a RAR file. I suggest if you can't unzip this, this file, you should download yourself a copy of WinRAR. It's free um, and easy to use, really. Okay, so once we have our file, you go to the location of where it has been downloaded to. So it's right here. I'll extract a Skyloft link using right click. Okay, and then we see the file in here, link one. Okay, so this is the file. These are textures, and these will be different um, 3D extensions, sort of like MTL, DAE. I think this one's OBJ, yes, yeah, so OBJ. Um, and we'll be using the OBJ one for this tutorial. Um, it's like I say, it's easy to easy to do. Okay, so once you've downloaded uh, and located your Skyloft link, go to a site called Maximo, Miximo, uh, Miximo, okay, once we are in Miximo, we can then Oh, what Mixamo is, it's an auto-rigging site, so it automatically makes your character's animations for you, and it's so simple. As you see, I'll show you how easy it is. I've just downloaded a model from the Models resource, which you can Google, or you can Google the Sprite as resource, and navigate in the site to get to the Models resource. Anyway, so what we do is we... Uh, ah, it will come on to the one I've made earlier, which is not what I wanted to do. Ignore this bit for a second. Uh, well, it didn't come on, so that was good. Um, upload character, leave this page. Ah, you got the saw it. Okay, so we're back at the home page. This is what you will see straight away when you go on this site, and uh, well, when you click on edit, uh, upload character. So first of all, we upload character to uh, map body and limbs. Anyway, we'll do this as we go along. Uh, we support any 3D software package. Export your character to FBX, preferable, VVH, uh, or Ho OBJ, OBJ? Uh, and upload it here. 3DS, Max, and Marth, and blah, 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 are not supported. Anyway, that site that we just used will have... Uh, that site carries tons of game 3D models. Sonic to, you know, Legend of Zelda to Mario to anything you could think of. Maybe even Halo, you know. I don't know why I brought it out, but anyway. Um, I'm not a Halo fan. Windows has detected that your computer performance is slow. That's unfair. <laughs> um, and upload it here. 3DS, Max, and Maya files. Anyway, so we'll click on upload and we'll find the file with the link. Where's the link? The Skyloft link. So we'll look for Skyloft links folder, which, uh, there it is. I downloaded two copies because I fucked up on another video that I was making before. Anyway. So we click on the link one, because that's the OBJ with a little icon, um, and to find out you can go on to right click and properties, and then it will tell you OBJ file, cool. So we open it up, cha ching uploading character. Why that upload really slow? 
and downloads really fast. You should really optimize it. Anyway. Success! Finally, finalizing. Um, also, regard, this is easy as, well, seriously easy. Show you how easy it is. Okay. Loading. 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 I'm a ball with crappy text on it. Loading. Ching ching! There's our link. We can zoom around by pressing these buttons. This will be the view that you will press a few things on. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's easy, simple. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, what does this button do? Ah, it's spinning! Anyway. So we will just do this view because he's in the, what they call a T position, the Jesus Christ. So anyway, we can map this. We go to, this says chin, chin for the pink one. Uh, we can put it on the chin. Ching ching. Wrists, and we'll just find where his wrists are. They're about here, I suppose. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, do I have to do this? No, you can, if the model is quite symmetric, which most models from the sprite's resource are, you use symmetry, it's so much easier. Uh, and then you get... Okay. So what it does is it is symmet you know, uses symmetry, and it's pretty useful, to be honest. So we'll go to chin, there you go, just put that straight down there. Elbows, what's the elbows again? Oh yeah. No, that's what I get for not miss going in science lessons. Knees, where's his kneecaps? I did this before and he, the character was a bit wobbly, sort of looking a bit weird. But anyway, so that's, that's how you do it. Look, oh wow, five things to move. Okay, preview, let's preview this. Look cool already, doesn't it? We haven't even put textures on the thing. Auto rigging, please wait. Auto rigging, can take two minutes. <laughs> Anyway, this is ah, it's not yet. I'm so impatient. I'm like really impatient person. I suppose it's not a good thing. Auto rigger beta. Maybe I pause it. Yeah, I think that'd be better for you guys. Right, loading, cool. Um, loading bar again. Everyone loves a loading bar. Man, the game's getting ridiculous these days. I was, I was looking at loading bar for, I think it was Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, this is our character and he's rigged. Woohoo, that was easy. Look at the animation. From a static model, from what we downloaded from the site. This is like live, sort of, live animation. It's pretty sweet, yeah. And that's basically... It, you know, that's, uh, and then we can export this, but we can go to standard idle, we can go to walk in to do a, you know, do a John Wayne walk probably. No, it's not John Wayne walk. It's cool, isn't it? It looks good. Shadows and all. Um, and, yes, if you do pay on this site, you can get hundreds of animations, but, you know, it's a bit costly. Um, but there is hundreds of free ones as well, so, it's good. Uh, we'll go to, Walk in, we'll do run in. Let's do run in. I, don't, I haven't seen a run in one before. Run in. Yeah, looks like he's holding something in his hand, like bottles and something. But anyway, that's link one in for you. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to finish. I think these are like standard animations, they're not what you actually get. <sighs> Congratulations! We've got to animate your character. Yes, please. So, uh, there you go, free. Backflip to uppercut. So, we'll, we'll, we'll click on this one. I don't know how it works. Can we open up a new window? Maybe, maybe not. No, but this is loading 3D models, so it is does take its time, but it's uh, it's worth waiting for, I guess. Loading ball. Hmm. So anyway, this is uh, the move. Yeah, uh, I think this is fighting to a backflip. Bang, bang, bang. What do you think? It's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good, and then you can download these separately. But if you link loads to each other, I think that's when it starts to cost. But you can download these separately and import it into an animations 
you know, like sort of an animations maker. Uh, Autodesk has got a an, an alright animations uh, platform, I guess, and uh, Swift 3D is pretty good, um, but it's limited. Um, but there's many out there, and everyone everyone likes their own, really. So, um, yeah, good luck. Well, I'm gonna put another move on anyway to because you can put as many as you want in the preview. So let's. Uh, it's hard to navigate the motions on this, but I suppose if you I never search for any, I just just click search. Last last time I played it. So we'll go to um what should we do? We should do the running So it's mutant running loop. I'm gonna just try that. It might not look right but It'll be fun to do, so. <laughs> That's just silly. Let's explore this live. So it's not that bad, is it? I don't know how this works. Uh. Anywho, um, I hope this helps with your animations. You can then export these um, animations and the, with the character and the character file. So you still get an OBJ back. Um, and you can then import these into programs like Autodesk uh, and Unity. And you will be um, able to make games and animations. So good luck with your videos. And uh, um. <sighs> so new to tutorials it's unbelievable so um good luck and yeah subscribe if you want to see more in the future i guess of random stuff i come across cheers guys take care and bye